Hi, in this video I will show you how to put together the 3D round teapot, which is an SVG file from Simply Crafty SVGs. So here are the pieces to the teapot. So um, these are lid pieces that will go inside. We have some, these are the actual handle, pieces of the handles and the spouts. So we can see those. Just making sure I have all the right ones. We're going to put them in piles over here. And then we have the, this is also part of the lid. I just had them a little mixed up. So these little pieces are the lid edges. And then this is the top. I'll put that with um, these inside panels here. And this is the top edge of the teapot and the bottom piece. So we're not going to put that on until um, it's kind of bright. We're not going to put that on until the very end after we put the panels on. And um, it's just so we can reach in easily. So I'll put that over there. And these are all the panels that we'll use. So I'm going to put those aside and then we'll work on the actual pot. So these are the pieces. They're all the same. Um, I decided against uh, attaching. There's a reason why I did it this way, but it's going to make it simpler to put together. Um, but normally what I'd do with a 3D uh, item that has a 3D handle and a uh, spout, I would put it attached to one of these panels, but I found because the curve of the pot that um, it would be harder. So we're going to attach those to the panels later on. So we're going to go ahead and score them first before we put it together. So you can see I already scored a couple of them, so I have two more, so I'll show you. Let's get that out of the way so you don't have a... This is Ivory American Craft Textured Cardstock, which is my preferred cardstock for 3D items. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and fold down the tabs. So you might have to use a little bit more force depending on how you're... Um, if you use like the, um, gotta look for the scores. There's not one there. If you use the Cricut or something, you may need to use a little bit more force, but I have mine lightly like a kiss cut, so I don't need to. So we're just getting these trained to, um, glue them together. Now I'm also be um, using Art Glitter Glue, which is my glue of choice at this point in time. There's a couple other glues I want to try. I just haven't tried them yet, but this is the one you see on camera most of the time. So I do like Scotch Quick Dry still. Um, it's just a little bit different and I like how this flows and a lot less glue needs to be used. So for those that are familiar with putting these, these together, we're just going to put it in a round um, so you don't have to watch this to an entirety, but for those that aren't used to it, I usually put glue, I would recommend starting at the top on one tab, one or two tabs, it just depends. And then I like to match it up, so I'm going to match this edge up to the tab fold right up to it, and making sure it's aligned on the top. What I'm doing is I'm anchoring this one piece. So as you do this more and more, this kind of activity, which is something we do a lot on rounded 3D designs, um, it becomes easier. So if this is your first time, one of the nice things about this particular uh, design is uh, I did omit the holes for the spout and the handle. So this is just a pure go around, put it together thing. So there's a lot of my designs like that. Um, it's not so uncommon to use this technique. So once you get used to it, it gets so much easier. And you won't see these little folded lines because uh, we'll have panels over them eventually. So if you're new to this, I would recommend doing like three, a couple tabs at a time. So I just add the glue to three tabs. And I'm just going to carefully go from top to bottom. I'm just kind of lining it up 
putting my finger up here to make sure it lines up. Half the battle is just getting it in a position that's easy for you to get your fingers in under this the tab to apply pressure. The middle ones are the worst. It gets a little challenging at the end because of the size of it. You could resize this down a little bit, um, but it's going to be difficult when it comes to the spout and the um, handle. And you'll see why. Lots of little cuts on that. So we're going to go ahead and add glue to the final tabs. And then we'll continue down. So I do often just kind of go over making sure that that edge is lined up to the tab folds. But tab by tab, and you can, once you're used to doing this, it gets way easier. So I'm going to do them, and I'm, you can watch, um, I'm not going to talk over it, but I'm going to use different methods so you can see that you can do multiple tabs at once, or you could just do one. Like I said, if you're new, I would anchor that top tab. Make sure you have the right side, so that's the tab on the bottom. So this is the top. Line it up, get that first piece anchored, and then you can glue the rest. So I'm going to let you watch the most of the remaining of this and then we'll come back to you when we get to the last, the last piece when we need to put a, the last part together. So I'm putting on the last piece on now. What I can't stress it enough is just to be patient and line it up. It really isn't that bad. It's kind of relaxing after a while. The hardest part comes next. This is the six piece and in my opinion the hardest part, especially with something that's a little bit this size and I have short fingers, um, is is this. So there's a couple ways you can approach this. You can try to put it in order, like go down to, uh, you can go put it just like we've been doing and start from the top. And it might work well. Sometimes it works well for people, for other times it won't. 
I'm going to flip these tabs back because if I need to add glue to them, it'll be easier for me to add glue to them. The other way, the other thing is, is just holding it. Sometimes people get freaked out about this, but you can like hold it apart like that. Um, so there's ways to hold it once you get it together. Of course, you don't want to do this before everything else is glued. Um, but we can go ahead. There's another way to do it is to do the top and bottom tabs and then the rest of it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this one in order. Like I said, this is to me the, one of the most difficult pieces of this shape is because you kind of have to maneuver it around. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to kind of bend it in place. Line that first piece up. I just want to get that first piece lined up. That's going to help you. And I'm going to do the second. So this is where you can kind of wing it. Do you want to get the third? And I, what I'll do is I'll just get them in place so they're set down and then I'll apply pressure to them. I'm going to go from the other side. I'm just going to go to the bottom. So it's easier to go in order. Let me just go in order. I'm not going to, I'm not going to mess you up because there's other things to concern when you start going out of, if you go to the top and bottom. If you're a little bit off, it could cause you problems. So I'm just kind of moving it around. The other thing is, you may not be able to, like I have really short fingers, I'm going to have to maneuver it around to do the other side to continue going. And if you only want to do half, you could reach in and if you folded those back, you can add more glue. And I did that just in case I had to do that. So now I'm just going to go over and making sure it's a little bit off on that tab. But not bad enough. The nice part is you can choose which part's going to be the front or back or side or. So I have a teeny teeny gap there, but it's not a, that noticeable. So that's the shape of the the teapot. So we're not going to put the top, the bottom, and the bottom and the top on yet. And the reason I'm not. I'm pulling that out is so we can use it to reach in to attach the panels later. So some thought, I try to go ahead of the, the some thought process before I, I do that. So we'll put that aside and that'll give it good time to dry too. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these pieces. So you want these two pieces. These, these are the the handle, the ones with the little circles in them, the whole, those go with, this is the top of the spout. So this is going to be the back side of the spout, the long part, and this is going to be the short part. So we're going to go ahead and gently fold these down, these tabs down. You want to curl it a little bit, you can, to the shape of this inside curve. Maybe like that. So we'll do the spout first. Let's put that aside so we can focus on the spout only. So I'm just folding them back. And then we're going to do the same with the long piece. So there's really, really small tabs when you get to the end. In fact, it's not that critical if you get this last tab. It's just angled. I just have it there to help. But for some reason, you couldn't fold that really well. Um, and you should be able to. You do your best. You could always cut it off. Honestly, it's not going to make a difference. But anything to attach it to. And then this will be the bottom that will attach to what I'm calling now the, the panel. I told you it's going to attach it to the panel. So the same thing, we want to fold these. Gently fold it right there. See that little pointy part? We want to be careful with that. 
Same thing on this side. This is where cutting dash gourd lines inst instead of solid lines on the Cricut Maker comes in handy. So, so here's your options. I'm just trying to ex I'm going to explain this. See how it folds back naturally, and the texture is right here. Well, this will fold back to the non-textured sides over here. We're going to have panels on that because the way we're going to attach this is like this. If that makes sense. So you can have the non-textured side out and that naturally will fold these out, which is the way they need to be to attach them to the panel. So if you have your texture if you have textured paper and you cut it like that, we're going to use the other side because the it'll glue better on the non-textured, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, that's up to you. But we're going to put a panel there once we have all the tabs. We're going to add a panel to cover everything. I did it wrong though. You got to get the right panel. There we go. So that's going to cover the tabs. All right. So this one, as you can see, it's going to curl like that. So I'm just kind of pulling it up a little bit, the tabs. Should have curled it before, actually. It kind of curls. So we want the texture sides up for this one. So we're going to start at the really tippy top there. So hopefully you can see it. So what we're going to do, we're going to add glue to just a couple tabs up here. I just want to make sure I get the right side here. I want this to be on the outside, so I'm going to put this one. So we're going to start right here. I'm going to line this at this really tip of this up to the edge here, and then I'm going to line up this edge right here with the edge of the inside edge of those tabs. So I'll show you from a different angle in just a moment here. So I'm getting the first ones attached. So you can see like that. This is for this is the way to get it uh, so I can get it rounded. So what we're gonna do is add glue and just kind of guide it from where we already attached it all the way around like that. So let's go ahead and add glue to probably about half of these. So my fine tip applicator, which I'm using with art glitter glue, I'm just adding glue to about half of these and then I'll do the rest of them. And you want to kind of have them up. Remember, if glue gets anywhere up here, it doesn't matter because we're going to add a panel. So now we're going to continue from the top. We're just lining this in up. So we're pushing that in and lining it up. So I don't know where the, the last tab is, so I'm kind of going down beyond it. But you can see how it's curling. So we're doing the long piece first because the short piece will be much easier. So now we can go back, see which ones we haven't glued, glue the remaining ones. And then continuing following that edge. That's why it's important to get those tabs folded prior. So now we're just going to continue, follow it and apply pressure against the table. And we just want to make sure that that last one gets attached. Like I said, if it's a little bit off, it's not going to cause a huge issue. But you see it's a little bit. We just don't want it to... So this is the um, issue of resizing this file, is, are these little tabs. So it's just a nice gift 
box that's different. I think it would be good for somebody who likes tea or for Mother's Day, something like that. Okay, we're going to do the other side as well, same way. So we're going to start there at the top and then come down. So I'll show you that. So you can just go ahead and watch the rest of this and then we'll We'll start, I'll come back to give you a little commentary when we get to the short piece. Okay, now that we have the long pieces on, I'm just making sure that the, those little pieces at the bottom are nice and secure. See, if it releases just a little bit, it's not going to take away from the whole thing. So that bottom one, I'm just trying to keep it so it doesn't pull up. But you can always add a dab of glue underneath it. And these are already folded back because of the way that we put them on um, to be attached to the panel. So now we have to make sure the tab part's down. We'll do the same thing on this side. So we're just going to start right there. Let me go from this side first so angle the camera. So we're going to attach it like that. So I should be able to do all these at once. So I'm just going to add glue to all of them. Then we're going to line it up. So I'm lining it up. And that's hard to see. I will give it a different angle in a minute. See if you can see this. And I'm doing it, I'm just kind of guiding it around. So it's, that's how it's being guided. So you could do it manually like this too, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like as it goes around there, that edge. Biggest thing is to try to match up this little curved edge on this panel into the tab fold. So that's why we kind of want to carefully go from top to bottom. You may not be able to see it very well in the camera, but um, that's it. So you can kind of see in there. I don't want to pull it apart too much. And then the last one, we can start here. So this last part, what you might want to do, really what works for you. I did three tabs. I'm just going to line up that first one. Just kind of lining up that first one. And I'm kind of pushing in to make sure that that edge lines up. And then I'm doing it one by one by reaching in and just kind of pushing that edge in to make sure that it lines up with the edge of the panel. And then we'll continue. I'd go tab by tab from top to bottom. And Not perfect, but very, it's close enough. So you could go in and just apply pressure now to those. So I just make sure that all the tabs are down. And I'd give it a second, as we're going to give it some time to dry until we put the panel, it put it on the panel. So I'm going to put it to the side here, and then we'll work on um, 
to handle. So these cutouts mean that it's the top. That's how we'll know whether it's the top or the bottom of the the handle. So there's a little tab. So this is the top. And also helps you guide these on. So that's this lines up to the top so you know you start at the top on those. So this will be the inside. Doesn't seem like it will fit, but the bit long one is the outside and this is the inside curve. So we're going to go ahead and curl it. To give us a curl, so I'm going to fold these and I'm going to fold them back because eventually they'll be folded back to fo glue into the panel. And these I'm going to do the opposite because I want the textured side to be on the inside. I'm going to go like this. Give it a curl. This one's going to be a little bit more difficult when it comes to putting the inside part in. So, but we're going to do the outside again first. So we're going to go ahead and fold all these tabs down. So it's going to be the same technique as the spout. Just want to get a good fold on these. Sometimes half the battle just doing this is getting these folded so it'll be easier for you to put it on. So we're going to go, I'm again I'm going to put the non-textured side, I mean the tabs on the non-textured side. So I'm going to find the, the ones that have, you start at the top, so that hole indicates the top and it matches up with this little hole. And we're going to start and put the tab right at the, beyond the bend. So make sure you, that you glue it beyond the bend of the tab. So we're just going to add a couple drops of glue. I'm kind of pushing it against the table. Let me do it in my unnatural way. It's my I'm not left-handed, so you can see it on the camera. And I'm going to be careful. This is where folding this helps because it'll help me line up where I need to start. I'm going to start there. So I'm just applying pressure to that first tab and then I'm just going to bend that around. So I only did a couple tabs. Then apply pressure against the table. Then we can go ahead and add glue. Again, with this, with this one I would say um, start with one or two tabs just to get it attached and then maybe do um, glue, put glue on the half of the remaining tabs and then the last one but if you're fast you can do them all at once so there's a little bit of glue coming up here inside but that's okay because you won't see it so I'm just wrapping it around and applying pressure. So that's what it looks like on that side. So let's finish this off and then we'll put the other side on. So let me uh, so again pushing it down to fold it up. I could lift it and kind of get it above that. And then just glue it from starting from where we ended. And then round here. So at the very end it kind of has a little bit of a sharper edge right there. So you just want to hold it in place. You don't want to lift it until you're ready to lift. And if for some reason you need additional, like that one didn't go on as well as I wanted to. Um, 
you could always do it with your finger, but it's not going to take away from the, it's going to be a little bit off, but it won't be um, horrible. But you can see there's a, a teeny gap right there. So trying to avoid that. So you might want to wait, not put glue on that final tab to get it all the way around. So after we put the first piece on, we want to put the second piece on the same. So it doesn't really matter if you start at the top or bottom. If you want to start at the bottom, you can. So if, let's start at the bottom this time. So just make sure if you start at the bottom, you're not the tab doesn't have a circle in it. This one has a little angle, so I'm just making sure that it lines up. So the folds are lining up. Then I'm just going to put it down. And it had two tabs that had glue on it. So I'll show you in a minute. I know I'm not there. This is not easy to show on camera. But basically we're doing the same thing. We're just going to curl those under to go around just like this. <clears throat> so you can go ahead and we'll finish this side. And then we'll move on to the little piece. So as I noted earlier, uh, this is one of the the hardest pieces just because of the curve. So you want to make sure that you take your time on this and don't rush it. So I'm putting glue on half of it again. I'm just folding them over after I put the glue on them. And I kind of guesstimate where I'm going to end here. So go inside. Start where you we ended. Then you're just kind of pushing in the side to make sure that this edge goes into the tab fold. So I'm just using the table to apply pressure. Lift it up. So I'm applying pressure right there. And then you can see we got all the way to here. And you can see how that, that edge is lining up just with the, the fold, the inside tab fold. And we'll go ahead and finish this off. So if anything, I would say you want to take your time on everything if you're not familiar with some of these techniques. Because um, it's similar techniques on most of circular shaped uh, items. At first I was going to make it kind of blocky looking, but I like it circular. So that's why I did two teapots, uh, one that's more square and easier to put together, and uh, this one. So we just continue from where we left off, and just we're just going along, and then we're just kind of pushing the tabs underneath, and applying pressure. So just make sure you're pushing in to get that inside fold lined up. I didn't put glue on the very last one. You can also do this too if you don't want to do it that method. You know, hold them, but putting it down and kind of putting it under um, helps you get that curve. So the next part, and now we can see the circles cut out on every side, but the next part we want to make sure it's curved inward. And I'm making sure this is folded that backwards. Same thing here because it will fold to the <coughs> the panel that way. So it's going to be like this. It's going to go in here. So you can see it's going to be kind of tight. So I'm going to just fold that one side down here, the tab on one side. It's going to go all the way around like this. So we can do it similarly. The difference is, is that it's hard to reach in. So at one point we'll have to kind of reach in a different way. So we'll start at the top. 
Actually, we're going to start at the bottom this time. And the reason I'm going to do that is because it's less curved at the bottom of it on the inside. I want to make sure I'm on the correct side because I want this to face towards the inside here. So it's this side. I know I look awkward, but I'm just getting it in place. So I'm just lining these up, these first couple that I put glue on. So I'm just going to press them down like that. And it's similar as putting them down on the table. I'm making sure that they line up, the very first ones line up. So we're not going to be able to easily reach in. You can reach in just a little bit around here. So we're just going to do a couple more. And you can see as I do that, and you can use a tool like this, which just is a chopstick. If you want to do it this way, you could go like this. So you just need to make sure you're pushing in. With my thumb, I'm pushing it in. And just make sure. Or the other thing, let me just get this in the right position. So I'm just trying to get underneath here. You want to get underneath there with your finger. It's not going to hurt anything because we're only on one side. I'm going to add glue to the remaining. And as we go around, I'm applying pressure on the other side and I'm pushing this in so that edge matches up. So this would not be a beginner thing for you to do if you, you're new to 3D, if you need to get the feel of paper, um, probably not the best first one. I'd recommend a different project. So and all that's going to be covered with, I'm trying to find the, it's not, that's the wrong way, I'm, I'm going to do opposite with the tab, so all those will be covered with the tab. I mean with a panel. Did I say tab? Panel. So we'll let those dry, but you need to make sure they're good and secure. And then this is probably the hardest part, so I didn't fold them yet, is getting these last pieces in place. Again, you can start and you can reach in to apply pressure here. It's just when we get into the middle, it becomes a little bit more difficult. So what we'll probably try to do, let's try this. I'm trying to think of the best way to show the masses. Put them on the sides. Yeah, put it together, but see, I, because I put things together, it's easier for me um, to do it than most people, So um, because I do a lot of it. So I just try to think of like where's, what's the easiest thing gonna be for um, everybody. As since this is not like the easiest. So I'm going to start at the curved area, which is the top with the circle. And I'm going to kind of get them a little bit wetter, these tabs, than I normally do. And I'm going to go around the curve, so about halfway. I'm going to get this first one in place. So I have a little glue leaking out. That's okay.
So what I'm doing is going in with the finger that I can and making sure that the edges match up. This is why I say don't make this too much smaller because this part will be a little bit more difficult. And now what I'm doing is just lightly going around the edge to get it in place so I have that last tab. But what I'm going to do is use this as my backing. So I'm just making sure that it gives me the pressure. But as I get around the curved part, it becomes more difficult. You can still reach in a little bit, but I don't want to reach up too much. But you can see I was able to get those down. But then now that we're not in a very curved spot here, I still have glue on one of them. I just didn't get that last one. So I'm going to continue around here. So I'm kind of reaching in to get pressure behind there. As it becomes comes around here, we might be able to reach in to get it. So now I can reach in either with the tool and follow the edge. I'm just gonna double check. It's looking good. So I'm going to give it a second and just making sure nothing's popping up. So if it goes in just a little bit, it's going to be okay. It's not going to change the look of it or the integrity of it. We just need to make sure that the glue is good and secure. So this curved area inside is the hardest part right there. With those tabs. So that's why I started the curved area and then I went to a more straighter curve. I'm going to let that sit for a second so that glue can dry. And then we'll go ahead and put the panels on this. In my opinion, it's just easier to put this on before you put it together and um, to put the glue on this rather than the panel. Making sure I go around the edges here. Be careful you don't put too much glue. I may have put just a smidgen too much for the for the paper I'm using. Just kind of wiggle it up in place. I'm just making sure it clears those those folds. A little bit of this edge could show, but this is where um, inking comes in handy. Whatever ink you have, kind of can ink those edges to clean it up. So just a little tip, and then I don't really even see much of anything. And then I'll put the other one on. I'll put that on in a minute. It's the same process, and then we'll go ahead and put one of these on. These one. So this is how this goes. And I'm putting it on the first side I glued. So there's a possibility that you will see just a smidgen of the the tabs on the edge, but that's where, like I said, the inking comes in play. Just make sure you have the right side panel. Then I would start at one side and go to the other. Uh, a big variable with this is that uh, we have a little curve. This is smaller than that. Anyways, um, this is wider at there, so it's kind of a strange 
panel and it, you'll see more of the tabs on the edge based on how you put it together. So if there's a gap, then you'll see a gap. And again, you can go ahead and ink, just lightly ink. Like I said, if you use a distress ink or something like that, I'm just doing it lightly. And then I'll put the other two on, then we'll put them on the um, panels. So now we're going to attach these, the handle and the spout to their panels. Um, it's going to be a little bit weird. I'm just going to kind of do this. If you look on this one, this only goes a certain way. So this one, um, there's a little cut mark right below the top one. So if the cut mark's right here, it's upside down. So look for the cut mark. It's just a slight cut mark right there. Um, that indicates that's the top and that needs to be at the top because that's slightly bigger. Not It's not the same size. Um, the same thing here. The, you want the larger on the top because this is larger than that. So it should be go from the large top. And this is the reason. It's going to just glue in there um, to the bottom. So with that said, we kind of have to make sure that these all bend backwards. So they'll glue just fine to the panel. So the same thing with this. Naturally, I'd already glue, um, pulled back a couple of these, so those are glue. So let's just go ahead and glue them to the panels. So again, I just verified that's the top, and I know that the circle pieces, uh, the tabs with circles, are at the top. So I would just fold them in, make sure they're already trained to go backwards, to fold back. So we'll glue to the back of the tabs. Then we'll go ahead and I'm just going to glue this top one. Fold it back. Just getting that in place. I'm going to do that with the bottom one. Get it in place. Be careful with how much glue you use. Um, because you don't want it showing through. So I just added glue to this one. So I'm going to bend the paper down, make sure that I get that bottom edge and that tab fold. See it's kind of naturally curving, curving for us. Again, normally I would put this, I would attach this to the side like to the actual structure, but I decided with this box that was hard enough just to do this piece, so I decided not to, with the curve on that box, it would be hard to reach in just to do this part. But it was a design decision. I haven't, I don't think I've ever done that really that much. Every once in a while I use this technique. I don't like to do it on curved items, uh, typically because I still need this to kind of curve around the side because we're going to attach this to the side of the, the structure we made earlier, the teapot structure. So what we're going to do, and that's the top with the, we're just going to put it on one of the sides. And then we'll do that with the same, see how it just kind of fits on there? We'll do that with the the spout too, so I'm going to put that aside. Let's just put that there. So now that those are all trained backwards, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. Just start on one side. This one I'm just putting one through so I can really get some pressure to hold it. I'm going to get lined up. stuck in something here. Let's see, I have it the wrong way. The top's supposed to be the largest. So that'll tell you. <laughs> I was like, why isn't it fitting? So see, you just flip these panels around, so just make sure they're going the correct direction before you glue it. And for that one, it'll tell on you just like I did. I gotta just push those all in. So I can slide them through and then we'll 
attach the rest of the tabs. I like to do the opposite one because now you have it in place. You see it kind of creates a natural curve too. So I didn't really attach that. I can see that I didn't get that lined up. So make sure it's lined up with that, the fold down there. Then on each side we can go ahead and just fold these down. And I'll do that on the other side as well. And you can see how it's coming along. So now we're going to put the rest of these panels on. So we're going to go, um, there's six of them, so it goes two and then one of those and then the other two. So the, we want to make sure that they're in the, the, first of all you can curl them a little bit, either with your hand or you want to train them to be kind of curled. You could do it on the edge of a table too. Some people. You want to make sure that they're up the correct uh, so one side is smaller than the other, so that's that would be incorrect. So this is the way to go it to go. So what I would do is get them upright the way they need to go. And I'll make sure that I have them all lined up. So you want to double check before you put it on. Make sure you have the right size side. And then for this, it's up to you your technique. You can just add a little bit at the top. I like to add a little bit of the sides because I like it to kind of adhere a little bit. But a little bit at the top, a little bit at the bottom, and if you want to th throw a bead down the middle, I prefer to do that personally. Then you can start at the top, line it up, apply pressure. I'm just going to line it up. And the reason I haven't put the bottom on is so we can reach in and apply pressure from within. So we're going to do that with all the sides. So I would say that you might want to put, you can go in order if you want, or you can do two and then one of these. So it's up to you. Again, again, each time you put this on, make sure it's the right direction. So that's upside down. I didn't situate it right. There we go. I did have it situated. I didn't line it up right. So pay, pay close attention to this. You don't want to forget to put on the other ones. So I'm lining it up close to the edge at the top in the middle. Then just pulling it down so I can apply pressure down there. And then if you wanted to rub it, if you had any glue in the middle. So this is where it becomes, you could skip this. You can skip one and that's the place for, these two would be for the spout and the handle. I mean, honestly, I think it's the best way to go is to, to uh, put the flat ones on first and then we'll put the other ones on. So we're going to have handle on one side, something like that. So let's put this last one on. So now we're going to put the handle in the... So this one's going to be harder to put on, but we know the top's there because of the spout. And I'm kind of going to go around there too. It may not stick, but the thing is, is just in case. So I'm lining it up, I'm lining it up like that, just like the others. I'm just going to pull it down. I'm just straightening it out as I pull it down. I'm putting. I actually pulled it tension-wise. I pulled it down. Now I'm just going to go over and I'm reaching inside, applying pressure from the other side. So obviously you're not going to pour anything from this because uh, 
there is no hole in the actual pot. So these you want to spend a little bit more time because it's the more rigid and they could pull off easier. There's no handle yet, but it's coming together. So same thing on this side. Now we'll have a handle. So you want it good and glued because somebody's going to pick it up by the handle. But you also don't want a buckling. I had a little bit of a buckling issue on the other side. So you don't really need it touching the middle, but um, that's why I put a little bit too much glue on the last one. So I'm lining that top up. Remember, I know it's top because there's a little cut line up there and the size of the panel. So I'm really pulling it taut and getting it centered. So I used just a little bit too much glue up here. So be careful with that. But that's that. And from the other angle. Do the best you can, but this is not like the easiest one to put together. So actually I forgot I need to put the bottom piece and the top edge on. So we're going to put this bottom piece on. So it's going to go back here. So what I would suggest is taking just one tab It's up to you if you're used to doing this, and of course you'll you'll do it the way you normally do it. But I'm just going to attach it and anchor it to one tab, so I'm just making sure it lines up on one edge. And then we'll go ahead and add glue to all the other tabs. We're just going to fold it down there. So I'm going to get it in place. Then I'm going to reach in and I can apply pressure against the tabs. And you could do it with a tool, making sure. You should be able to reach in though. I'm going to apply pressure to the tabs, but you could do it with a, like I said, a, a longer tool like this to go over every single tab. That's just a little wooden chopstick. And if you wanted it a little bit stronger, you always could cut another one and put it inside. So you want to make sure that's good and secure. I mean, if you're going to put like a little gift in it, uh, you want to make sure that's good and secure. So if you wanted to put something a little heavier, you'd probably want to cut another one of these panels and put it inside. Then we're going to add this, which is the edge. So it's the top edge of the um, the pot. So the lid will sit over it. So I'm folding it backwards and then, so we want the texture on the outside, but this is going to fold to the inside to glue to the inside. So these fold the same way. So I fold them naturally with a uh, mountain fold and then I fold them back. It just helps train the fold for me, um, but everybody, whatever works for you. And I have glue on my fingertips, so I have a little wet paper towel that I always have to keep handy. So I'm just gluing these pieces together. 
just kind of going up to the fold so the edge goes right up, not over the fold tab fold. So there's a tab. Go to the back. And then we're going to go ahead and fold this over. And you can do it flat and we're going to add glue to this tab. And there you go. If you need to, you might want to wait a second before it's dry, before you attach it. But what we're going to do is we're just going to attach it in here. So this is how it's going to go. It's going to sit in there like that. So we're going to glue these backwards like that. I'm going to start at one of these sides. It doesn't matter which side because they're all the same. I'm just trying to put the um, one of the seams on the side towards the spout or the handle. And then I'm going to go ahead and reach in and line this edge up up here with the inside tab fold just right up to it. And then I'm going to apply pressure to get it set. So let me make sure I'm at a good angle here so you can see. So I'm just getting this anchored on, like I've been anchoring it on everything else. And you see I glued this on well enough that I can hold it now. So it can be a, a tool. So now that'll fold up, just make sure it's good and dry. And then what I would do is add glue to all these tabs, on the outside of these tabs, and we're going to fold them in gently. So you can you could fold them in before you add glue. So you don't have to get glue on your fingers. We're going to add glue and then we're going to anchor it across and then just fold it in the other four tabs. So make sure you have your glue is wet enough to be able to do this if you, for some reason, you needed to. Um, because, uh, squash, let me go backwards. If you scotch quick dry, it glues really fast. So you have to make sure it's good and wet before you fold it down if you want to do all, all the tabs at once. You could theoretically fold the tab up from the inside if you needed to glue just a couple at a time, but it's not as easy. This I find easier to do. Okay, so I'm just making sure they're all... So I just gently fold it down. And I'm doing the one across from the first one. And I'm just getting it in place first. And then I'm going to the, one, the glue, the tabs that I first added glue to. Just be really careful, you don't want to bring... My left hand is my glue hand right now, so I might have glue from the tabs there. But I'm just going around and pushing in that tab, and then we're going around to this side. So once we get them all in place, I'm just getting them where they need to be. I'm just going to go back to these, make sure there's lots of pressure. So that's where the, the lid's going to sit on. So there, there's that. So we have that. So now we're going to put together the lid. Okay, so this is, I'm going to show you with, um, one of my tests. So this is the how we're going to do it. Basically the way I made it is that you can curl this, one of these edges up. up. This is just a test, so I was playing around with the curling. But that's what we're going to do. So to get ready for that, I would take each of these pieces, fold them. So these are the edges of the um, the edges of the lid. And then you can take something small like a round tool and curl that edge up. If you wanted to, I'm going to give other people options. If you wanted to, you could manually score here. I just didn't want to score it there. Where you could have a manual score there. I want it kind of to curve out. Um, whether I was able to achieve that. But there are ways to change it if you don't like the way that this sits. So that's just going to fold like that again. I'm just taking a little tool 
And the other thing too is you can lightly spritz. I'll show you. I'm trying to find my little spritzer. I have this little distress spray I use. And if you wanted to, I would just do it really lightly. Do like a light spray. And it helps to bend the paper a little bit. Okay. I mean, that's an option. I'm just uh, So I'm going to do all those like that. And once it sits, I'll know whether I have to... Uh, I'm just trying to gauge how much I need to bend it back. So I have all these um, curled, just ready to put together. But before we do that, let's get the, the knob out of the way. So we want to take this piece, and you'll need this piece with it. That'll be the top of the, the knob. And you'll want to fold it like you see. So I'm going to fold two other pieces. They all fold the same. And then fold these tabs. Then fold down, and the tabs in. So it's going to come like this, and we're going to glue like that. So let's go ahead and start that. We'll just close it. So we'll start with these edge, this edge. Just gonna go ahead and just line up that first piece here. And also this this will be folding back too. I just forgot to tell you, but I'll show you in a minute. So you want to hold that long before we fold over this next piece. So you want to be really gentle because you don't want to pull apart this. And we're just lining up each edge just like we did with the large pot. This is just a real small version of it. So you can see the side looks like. So we'll just go around and add glue to these little tabs here. And since we don't have any panels for this, you want to make sure if it gets it any leakage. Um, so we're just lining that up, those two tabs, add an edge to the tab fold. But if there's any leakage, you want to have like a wet paper towel handy. Fortunately, I put it on light enough. But we'll want to go around the whole thing to get that closed. So when you get to the end here, uh, just make sure they're folded inwards, the tabs, because it gets real small. And then we close it up. So once it's good and um, dry, if you didn't fold those only inward, you'll want to fold them back as well because that'll fold, that'll glue to the inside of the the lid. 
just like that. So be careful pulling them, uh, folding them back if you just glued it together. So just getting kind of trained and loose. Then this just goes on the top here. So it's so small that you pretty much don't have to anchor it. Just add glue, be careful, like I said, in places that you don't want glue to be. And just line it up with one edge. I'm just kind of wiggling it around to get it into place. Make sure that it matches up fairly well. Once you get it into place, you can just go ahead and flip it over and either use your finger or a little blunt tool. This is something a long time ago too. I can't remember what it was for. I think it's just a, like a, might be a stir. I can't remember where I got it, honestly, but I keep a lot of tools that are different circular um, sizes and for different purposes like this. It doesn't necessarily mean they're a craft tool. I may have gotten this one at a craft show a long time ago though. So there that is. So the, the knob's all ready to go once we get... So I'm gonna just give it a little dusting of this brown chalk ink. Again, you can use any ink or chalk. And it kind of hides the imperfections on the side if you have any uh, gaps or um, any kind of glue leakage or something like that. That's the nice part about that. Okay, so the last part we're getting to, uh, we're almost done. Um, we're going to go ahead and put together the lid. So we already curled these on the sand and folded them. So these just go together by these side tabs. So you can add glue to all three tabs. The important thing is start at the top, line it up just like we did the, the, the teapot. Get that in place, make sure it's anchored before you start moving down, word, and then it just folds down. So that's one of the reasons we curled it first. And then I'm going to hold that in place for a little bit. And then we'll continue. So we're going to continue adding these side pieces. And then when we're done, we'll go ahead and add the, the panels. So once you get to this point, um, you just can kind of hold it like that. Add the glue. I'm just making sure I really get close to the edges here. And kind of pull it underneath. 
Since we have panels, if there's a little glue leakage, it's not a huge deal. Better get that first one in place up there. And if you have to move your hand around to get it in the right position for you. Since I'm right-handed, I have to, um, I tend to go towards positions like that. Just want to make sure it's good and secure before we add that, the knob. So now, okay, taking this, you see it sits like that. So if you want to curl them up, like I said, there's, if you wanted to, um, Score. You wanted to make that decision before. I wanted you to just see what it looks like. If you want to curl them more before, I would curl them before you put the panels on. But be aware, if you do curl them after the fact, things like this will happen because you're putting stress on the, the seams. So I'm just making sure that one's all good to go. As with everything, sometimes I do a design and then I thought, well, I would have done it just slightly different, but um, this is different than most people. I mean, it's different. It was just an idea I had and I went with it. So that's what it looks like. So if you didn't want to put the panels on, you could just put it on as is and just put the knob on. So we're just going to go ahead and put the knob on. Actually, we won't put the knob on yet. We're going to put the panels on. It'll be easier. So if you do choose to use the panels, I'm gonna, I would pre-curl the panels, and I already kind of pre-curled these to make it easier. So I would put just a little bit glue at the bottom, maybe the side, I would, top and bottom is the most important part, so they can kind of easy flow down, and I probably put too much glue on that. I'm gonna line up that top edge. There's no gap. This is a complete panel. You know, if it doesn't go all the way down, then you're going to see the tip of the color, which actually looks pretty good. I just went a little bit high on that. But if you're going to do one, I now have to be, keep it consistent, obviously. So you'll want to keep on going around like that, but if you pre-curl them to the shape of the box or the lid, um, that'll be easier. So I'm just going to put a line, but it's really the bottom, and just a little bit on the sides because that's just me. Make sure it lands in the same place so it's showing the edge just like the other one is. If you did that and you didn't really like it, you could always ink the edge a little bit more or something like that. There's always some way to make it the way that you want it to be. So I'll go ahead and finish these and then I will be back to put the knob on. So here it is finished and you can see there's a little um, ivory edge on every one and I did actually did ink a little bit on the edges. I probably would do a little bit more. So you maintain that edge color but so now you can see I'm going to put it on the kind of it curls up so if you need to do additional curl you could always um, like I said spritz it a little bit maybe on the bottom and do a little bit more curling you want to be really careful about putting any more pressure on it so it's really up to you 
again, you could score. Some people might want to just score right there and then um, fold it. So that's that's an option too, but it, that's not how the file's built. So giving you options though. So let's go ahead and put the knob. So the knob's just like the, um, kind of like the handles that we're going to go into the actual structure. So I push all those tabs in and let's anchor just one tab. So I'm just making sure it lines up. And then I like to do the opposite tab to get it set in there. So I'm just going to do the opposite tab of the first one I did. Make sure it's in a good place. And then go ahead and do the rest of them. I do hope a few people do like this uh, teapot. I wanted to just do my version of one. If you do like it, um, go ahead and I would appreciate a little thumbs up on the video. I understand this is not everybody's taste, so honestly, if you know me, I'm not like the the frilly. See, this is what happens when you put a lot of pressure on a edge. I'm not really into the more frilly. So this is kind of me going frilly with a little bit more simpler. So um, I do like the challenge and I like round things. So that's why I like to do round things. So the last thing, so we're done really. But the last thing is if you don't like these um, showing these tabs inside, here are two pieces. And all you want to do is you could fold them that way and put them in with the non-texture side, but if you want the texture side, you'll have to, it naturally cuts with the texture side up, or you want to cut it down. You can just do this. But you can always do the other side, the way it naturally. I already had this folded. So it just sits in here, like this. So you can just go ahead and fold that back. And there's three at a time, so you can just glue it in like that. So I'm not going to go the specifics, but each side would go in, and then it would cover the tabs. So that's what you can do for that. I'm not going to show you the specific task of doing that, but there's two sides to cover those up. So now we have this completed um, teapot. This is what it looks like. put it around either way. So I hope you like it and um, I thank you so much for watching.